What's up everyone? My name is Josh and this is Josh Unboxed and welcome back to another video. And today I kind of want to talk to you guys about my recent experience at my first card show. Um, it's been a while like since I've jumped back onto this hobby from a year ago or so. Uh, I haven't gone to any card shows. Well, you know, COVID happened so a lot of shutdown so I couldn't really go out and do certain, certain things that I wanted to do like going out to card shows and whatnot. But I had a great opportunity this weekend. I was going down to Irvine, California down in Orange County to meet up some old college buddies. Uh, we decided to get together, have lunch, uh, catch up on good times and um, found out that there was a card show going on over there at the Elk Lodge uh, in Garden Grove, California. One of my buddies, one of my college buddies I was gonna meet, he's actually getting back into sports cards as well. So I hit him up, said, hey, let's go, let's go hit up this card show before before meeting up for lunch. So he was down for it. You know, my friend, he's getting his sea legs back, you know, but he's not really big on the whole entire heavy investment side but you know he's picking up little nice pieces here and there so as we were going along i was just showing him a couple of things trying to get his memory back <laughs> jog his memory back with all the old cards that we used to collect as kids as well as show him some of the a lot of more recent stuff so it was pretty fun i'm gonna show you guys the clip and then afterwards i'm gonna show you guys what i picked up at that show there were a lot of you know heaters there, there were a lot of bangers there sasha t was there so it was coleman cards the, you know they were doing their deals they were doing their thing but i do apologize for the video Video quality because you know there's a it was outdoors and there was a mad glare going on off their glass cases so uh, I'm gonna show you guys the clip and then right after that we're gonna be back and I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up what's up everyone it's Josh from Josh Unboxed and I'm going to a card show out here in Garden Grove uh, at the Elk Lodge I'm gonna see what I can find um, I haven't done one of these videos in uh, quite some time in terms of like going to an LCS or anything like that. But this is my first card show in a long, long time out here in Southern California. Pretty excited, gonna meet a friend out there. And we're just gonna look around and see what we could find. You know, probably gonna look for some low-end Brady's. A lot of low-end cards. I brought a few things to see if anybody's willing to trade, but I'm not sure, you know, how it would go with trade value and all that stuff. So I'll show you guys the clips, show you guys what they have, and I'll catch you on the other side later. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
14? Jordan, LeBron, Kobe. But, you know, let me double check because I know on this one it was with somebody else. It's hard for cash. I come back in like five. Yeah, we just saw like a PSA one and we checked in. Yeah, Kobe uh, came out in Upper Deck 1992. Uh, the guy who did this is Jim Lee, uh -huh. same artist that did um, X Men and DC. Yeah, the artist. That's what's nice about that. Right there. Okay. Why is that like? Uh, well, a couple like Magic Johnson loose cards, you know, raw cards. I'm looking at this one here though. That's nice. And then yeah, that curry right there. Oh, there you go. You can read nice. Yeah, I know. I saw that. That's the top of the base, bro. <laughs> don't do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> nothing for you yet? No, nah, nothing yet, bro. I just couldn't get it back. All right, so heading back, gonna meet up a couple of friends at a brewery out here in Costa Mesa. Um, didn't really get much. I saw a lot of nice stuff, some real bangers. Like, this is my first time coming out to one of these, and it was just really exciting. I was looking at a tops. Curry PSA 8 and you know a guy wanted to trade me my LeBron PSA 9 Bowman and my Kyler PSA 9 Silver uh, field level select so I kind of held back on that um, but yeah there was some there's a bunch of cool stuff there uh, pretty excited to show you guys what I got uh, I'm gonna do that when I get home um, just showcase everything that I got and I'll see you guys then all right welcome back uh like i said sorry about the quality of the of the clips that i'm showing you very short though you know just thought i'd run through really quick and show you what it looked like what people were selling but i did come away with a couple of things uh what we actually did was my friend and i we put our cards together we just bought singles you know little raw singles didn't really buy anything big so i know you saw a lot of big stuff there but yeah i didn't really buy anything too big i just bought like little small things here and there and what i did was uh, my friend and i put our bundle together just so that we can get deals um this first um sets here i'm going to show you i got these five cards and he picked up two other cards and we got it for a total of 45 bucks um, first card here is um, bowman paper prospects of spencer torkelson uh, i thought you know hey might as well get one i i think if first year bowman pro cards are going to explode in value then paper cards will follow once people start getting priced out of the bowman chrome because bowman chrome first year bowman chromes are, are ridiculously expensive now these days i mean i think you chalk it up to guys like mike trout um soto tatis or bowman first cards especially the chrome cards wander franco uh their cards seem to shoot up really high in value and i think once people start getting you know priced out of those cars they start looking towards the paper so you know it's affordable like i said i got this lot for 45 bucks um but that also includes my friends a lot so i think i told him just give me 20 bucks so i got this whole entire lot for like 25. Uh, the next card is a this is a 2009 Black Diamond Wayne Gretzky card. <laughs> I know one of my viewers the other day uh, on my pickups video put a comment down like, when people talk about goats, they don't really talk about Wayne Gretzky. But hey, I got a Wayne Gretzky card. This is a quadruple diamond. I thought that was pretty interesting, uh, a quadruple Black Diamond card. So really don't know what the value of this card was, but you know, I, I was like, man, Wayne Gretzky, that's a cool card. Might as well pick it up. Got this, uh, nine, I think this is 1995, no, 1994 Magic's All-Rookie Team uh, Jason Kidd card. Now, what I love about this card is that this is the foil version. So if you're not familiar with this, or if you are familiar with it, then you know that um, this set com can comes in two versions. There's the paper version, and then there's the whole foil version. And the foil version was very hard to come by. I mean, I don't know how many packs I've opened of this set, never to be able to pull a foil version of the card. But you know, this was pretty cool. You know, it was pretty affordable. I don't really expect this card to go up that high in value. I mean, Jason Kidd. Uh, there's not really much of a demand for Jason Kidd, but I felt like you know this was a nice card just to own because I've never had a foil card, a foil Magic All Rookie card. So hey, found one there, picked it up. Got a, a 1991 Fleer Magic Johnson base card. Um, just for the hell of it, <laughs> uh, figure, you know, Jordan base cards, Kobe base cards, you know, LeBron base cards, no matter what year, all seem to rise. Magic Johnson is a really good player. Um, you know, he has, 
his career did get cut short because of HIV. So, you know, he didn't really have that long of a playing career after the 90s. And then if you think about it in the 80s, there was that brief hiatus from sports cards from, I think, after 81 all the way up to 86. So in terms of actual cards that Magic Johnson has during his playing years are pretty scarce. So I figured what, why not get a Fleer card of his. And the last card is this 1998 uh, Michael Jordan Fleer Ultra base card. I thought this card was really cool. I mean, I own this card already. I have the base card and I have a gold medallion version, but I just love the card in and of itself. You know, the photography of it, the top-down aerial view, his last game in Madison Square Garden as a Chicago Bull, uh, and him throwing it back with the Air Jordan 1s, you know? <laughs> bleeding socks and all so blisters and bleeding socks and all so a very very iconic photo in, in my opinion uh, a card that you know is very very beautiful that's probably the main reason why i picked it up myself and then this last uh set uh like i said my my friend and i we did a deal together with the cards and i think we ended up paying uh, i want to say i think 15 bucks for for these three and uh another card that he wanted so First off, we got a Dame Lillard uh, Select Silver. This one is the Premier Level. This is a 2018. Um, huge fan of Dame. Huge, huge fan of Dame. This is more about like, not so much of thinking that his cards are gonna go up. This this purchase was just a purchase out of love uh, and respect for the guy. Um, sometimes, you know, these are the types of purchases I make. Sometimes it's not about the future valuation of the card. It's about just the card itself or the player itself. So. Really love Dame, that's why I picked it up. This one I picked up next was the 1995 SP uh, Kevin Garnett rookie card. This one, uh, I had this card in the PSA 9, sold it probably months ago before everything boomed. Uh, looked like it in good condition, so I went ahead and, and took it and bought it. You know, Kevin Garnett cards have gone up, uh, and I think this one is actually a pretty good alternative uh, to his other rookie cards. And then finally, I'm not even sure where this card comes from, but it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, it's a Dream Team card that features Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, Patrick Ewing, Carmelo, and Charles Barkley. Um, you know, the Dream Team, the greatest team ever assembled, in my opinion. Um, better than the Redeem Team, I think. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm not sure what where this card comes from. You know, I just found it interesting that you know, I found something like this and it has a lot of great players on it. Team USA. I uh, really don't know where this card comes from. I haven't really done my research yet on it, but pretty cool card nonetheless. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I told you, I didn't really pick up anything big, anything huge. In fact, a lot of these cards that I picked up were just cards that I liked. And you know, that's the collector side of me coming out when I go to these shows. Sometimes it's not about, or when I go to card shops, it's sometimes it's not about finding the the best investment piece sometimes it's just me rummaging through singles and finding cards that i like um but you know all the times if you collect what you like you'll be surprised at how many of those actually hit and actually end up becoming good investments because if you like something then more oftentimes than not then someone else will like it too i know it's not very investment heavy but you know as, as a collector slash investor sometimes the collector side of me comes out as I'm going through these things. It was fun though. That card show was fun. Got to chop it up with a lot of nice vendors. Um, you know, really got to teach my friend a couple of things, couple the ropes uh, on certain cards that we were running into so that he has a better idea of which cards there were there. Although I will say that I had an opportunity to get a Topps PSA 8 Steph Curry card. The guy was asking 1800 for it. Try to see if he would trade. I did bring a couple of cards with me. Um, he actually wanted to get my uh, LeBron Bowman Rookies and Stars PSA 9 and my Kyler Murray Field Silver Level uh, PSA 9 uh, for the Curry card. But, you know, I, I felt like, I don't know, you know, as much as I would love to get a Curry rookie card in my hands, I think the opportunity will still present itself. I think a good opportunity to try to buy his rookie cards will be during the playoffs. So, kind of held off on it because I had to ask myself the question, who do I believe more long term? This was more about LeBron versus Curry rather than LeBron and Kyler versus Curry. Yeah, LeBron James is LeBron James. Do I believe in Steph Curry too long term? Yeah, heck yeah, I do. Uh, I kind of decided to hold back a little bit. Plus, I think if I were to let go of that LeBron James, it would be put towards a purchase of a much 
bigger card that I have in mind and it might be in one of my next videos that I'm going to talk about because I think I have pinpointed a card that I do want to target after but that is for another video so you know thank you guys for watching if you have yet please consider subscribing you know this is all stuff that I do like because you know I really love this hobby I love the hobby I love talking about opportunities that present itself i love talking about different strategies and how to help us you know make much more sound purchasing and selling decisions it's it's fun so i do truly thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video later